Hello Seekers, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. It's always such a blessing to have you right back here. Today's reading is for Aries. Aries, my darling, it is your day to shine. Please shine bright like a diamond. Also, please make a note that if the reading does not resonate to your present situation, please do not get hurt, offended, or in your feelings. It only simply means that today's reading here is not for you. But if you come back another day, that one just might be. Also, if it is your first time here and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and turn the post notification on. So that way you will always be the first to be reminded each time that I upload brand new contents. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up. Because when you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push those videos out into a much wider audience. And the channel and that particular video will grow, okay? So go ahead and um, thumbs up the videos. For all my returning seekers, please know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you all for the love and for all the support that you show each and every day. I do see that love and I am embracing all that good love, all that good energy. Please make a note that the card has been shuffled and the card has been blessed. But before I get into the readings, I always have to say a prayer first. So let's get into a quick prayer and then let's get into your reading. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send on your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the seekers, only for the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and I give you all the praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, my darlings, um, Aries, please know that I do have a playlist. If this reading does not resonate, um, go ahead and check the playlist, all right? Know that the reading could be in reverse, and it could also go for one of my cross watchers as well, all right? Please come back if it doesn't resonate, because I do upload at least three videos every single day, all right? Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I will be doing personal readings starting January 2022. You will need to connect with me on Instagram in order to have your readings, okay? So go ahead and follow me there. Let's get some messages here, angels. Messages, please. All right. It's just saying that you need to love yourself first. You need to love yourself first. Maybe you're not giving yourself that love that you that you deserve. And just saying. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Self-love is what you need, honey, is what I'm feeling here, all right? I'm forgiving and learning. Maybe you need to forgive um, for what has happened to you. Get that self-love going, all right? That's what I'm feeling here for some of you. As you release and heal from the past is what the angels are saying. You um, experience more love in your present moment. So you definitely need to move on from what it is that you're going through here. Because self-love is something that you're going to have to um, gain all over again. Just move on from the past. Messages, messages, please. Let's get some messages here. Oh my goodness. Cards are out of control today. Messages, please. Messages, please. Cards are going wild. Oh my goodness. Um, let your friends help you. So whatever you're going through, Angel wants you to have your friends to help you, all right? Ask and accept support from others. Ask and accept the support from others is what they're saying here, all right? Uh, pay attention to the red flags, honey. Um, I feel like for some of you have not been paying that much attention to the red flag, but Angel wants you to do that this time because healing is in, in, it's critical right now and, and solving family, family issues. For some of you might be having some serious family issues going on. Retreat, just, just let it go, let loose us, maybe walk away from the situation. Just leave it because you may be feeling burned. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yep, it's time to disconnect from the world. From the things that is making you feeling like really down and out. It's time that you let those things go. All right, let me have some messages here, please. Messages here. Messages, please. Okay. Um, for some of you, I see here in the work card that you might not have gotten the closure that you need. 
All right. I feel like there's someone in your life right now, in your present. Your person is your person who you're thinking about right now. Okay. That person might not give had given you some kind of a closure. Um, maybe you're not content with the way things had ended. I also feel like you might have some unfinished business with this person. All right. Six of Wands here is telling me that you need to be open. Maybe you and this person was like a kind of a power couple. Is what I'm feeling here is coming through. This person here feels like they were very close. But I do feel some unfinished business coming in here. With you and this person here. Okay. This person is also... Um, seems like they're very mature at what they do. They like to take control though. They like to take control and leadership. They like to be in charge. This person likes to... I feel like they're very dominating. They want to be the big boss. The big boss. But the lover's card came through here and it's telling me that there was someone else in the picture. Um, This third party came in. Someone was tempted here. Also, see, feel like... um. This person and you did share some kind of a passion here. Maybe kind of a twin flame kind of a connection here. It did show up here as well. Power couple. All right. But I'm also, there's definitely third party coming through though. Third party is definitely coming through. And I feel like you and this person is definitely separated. I see separation coming through here um, with you and this uh, person here. I feel like someone was tempted. Someone was very tempted. Someone got tempted and got into some little entanglement here. Separation, temptation, all around this relationship. All right. The hang one in reverse. Um, I feel like this person is still waiting. They're waiting for you to call. They're waiting for you maybe to reach out and call them. All right, that's what I'm feeling here. This person is still kind of maybe hoping for a return. Maybe they want to make things happen again. But... They're waiting for you to call though. Someone is waiting for a phone call, a text. Maybe they have already tried to contact you, reach out. Maybe they email. Maybe they ask someone about you, but they're definitely waiting for you to communicate with them is what I'm seeing here. The Empress is coming through here. I feel like you're calm and you're just content with the situation, the outcome. Maybe you just already healed from this and moved on, right? Um, I feel like right now you just have things together. You have your life together in order right now. And I feel like you just don't want to be bothered. That's why your person is waiting for a call from you. They're waiting, waiting, waiting. I feel like this person might have lost you. Why am I feeling like they might have lost you already? Might have lost you. A third party temptation is coming in very strong here. Okay. Yep. Set the place in plan here with the three of cups here. Be like in the three of wands here. Um, yep. Waiting, waiting, they're waiting. Someone is waiting, honey. Just waiting. Um <laughs> but I feel like you're already you definitely already had had gotten over this situation here. I feel like you already gotten over it here. The Queen of Swords here. Communication is what I'm seeing here. All right. Um, you definitely move forward. Someone has moved forward here. Someone wants to talk, but someone has moved forward here. Because in the three of wands here, someone had set the plan in place already. I feel like this connection right now is very long. It's long distance. Maybe someone had moved away. All right. But someone is waiting here in the three of wands. Someone is definitely waiting for this phone call here. Someone is waiting, waiting to rekindle a love that might have been lost. Because this, I feel, was definitely um one of like a, a twin flame, a soulmate, a power couple type of a connection. But someone got tempted here and messed the entire thing up. What could have been a good thing? Someone definitely messed it up big time when they decided to bring a third party into the equation. 
Let me pull some messages here. Messages, please, angels. Messages, please. Let me have some messages here. Messages, please. Oh, yep. Habits. Um, they have some bad habits here. Temptation. I don't know if we will, if you will ever change. Changes is coming in here. Yep, they didn't value the relationship at one point. We have too many differences, okay? Differences are coming through here, along with the habits that this person might have had. Um, I also see someone was very unsatisfied. I wasn't happy the way things were going, all right? It definitely, I feel like this relationship um, only took a turn for the left when someone got temptation. Couldn't resist that temptation is what I'm seeing here. Temptation played a massive part in the breakdown of two people, okay? Two people's happy ending got cut short because one decided to go out and enjoy the bad apple, okay? The forbidden apple. I see your side of the story. So now someone is definitely understanding your side of the story and how you really feel about the entire situation at hand is what I'm feeling here. So I'm going to say, and I understand, understanding, okay? Temptation played a massive part, but the chemistry I feel is still there between you two. If um your person might come in the midst of what you got going on right now, I feel you might be tempted and want to start something again with this person because there's a definitely a soul, a soulmate, um, power couple kind of a connection with you and your person and the connection will never go away. No matter how you fight and fuss, and no matter the distance, the separation right now, because someone has definitely moved away, okay? But the connection is also always going to be there, all right? I messed up a good thing in my life. Yep, they messed it up. They said that they messed up a good thing in their life for sure. When they know they did, someone did, someone moved away after someone messed up a good thing. Third party entanglement, honey. That is your reading for you today. My lovelies, I hope that it did resonate with you. Don't forget to pray because prayer works all the time. But most of all, always remember to seek first and you will always find.